Hi everyone, Vicki Verley here, Rock and Roll Prophetess. Uh, we are going to take a look at this, uh, this is a full moon chart, right? Yeah, the full moon on October 5th. But first I just want to talk a minute about this uh, thing in Vegas, because I did get a couple flashes. Now, mind you, I'm not trying to say I'm right, I don't know for a fact any of this. This is completely quick little psychic flashes that I got, but it's to the guy, the shooter. I feel like I, I'm getting that he didn't work alone. I get that pretty clear. And, and what they keep showing me is Lee Harvey Oswald, of all things. And I don't even, I didn't even look it up because I don't know. You know, I'm not going to be talking the whole time about this because I'm not a conspiracy theorist and I'm not a psychic investigator. But every now and then I get these little flashes and tidbits, so I, I thought I'd share them. And, and they're not always right. I'm not here to say I'm right. I told you so. I'm just here to relay the message. I'm not, you know. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, um, Lee Harvey Oswald and the word Patsy keeps coming in. So, you know, some people, I know, I don't even know a lot about the Lee Harvey Oswald stuff. I remember that there was this big Geraldo thing, there was more than one shooter, and he was killed in the hallway because he was the Patsy and it was a cover-up, you know. I don't know any of this for if it's real or if any of it. I don't even know the details of it. It's just, you know, little sound bites that I've heard here and there. I'm not like a, a mad conspiracy theorist, but I did get that he did not work alone. I get that uh, repeatedly. And the other message that I get of it just simply is let peace prevail. Let peace prevail. Let peace prevail. That's what I just keep hearing over and over again. And that's, you know, that's prayers to the families, love energy, peace prayer energy, because it, whatever it is, it's it's to make people afraid. Whether he it was this guy or there is some conspiracy behind it, I feel like by them keep saying let peace prevail, it's like it, it matters not. I mean, I know it matters to people. It matters to a lot of people, especially if your loved one or family was involved in this. And believe me, I have some friends and family out there. I was scared myself, uh, you know, that something might have happened to them. But they're okay. Uh, but the thing is, um, let peace prevail, let peace prevail. Let's not get ourselves into a state of... Uh, fear that's what's being inflicted here. One more thing, I just well, I turned on the news trying to get some facts about this for a minute, not too long, but I did see some footage of that guy's brother and he's like, what? This, he didn't, I just moved him, he didn't have any guns. And the other thing is, I just feel like that brother is telling the truth. I, I feel like the brother is uh, genuinely shocked and that the dude didn't have any guns when he just moved him, whatever. I mean, again, I don't know all the details. So, I get that he didn't work alone. I get Patsy and I get let peace prevail. Well, the other thing that they showed me too was him like kind of just watching, the dude just watching like in horror himself. And I don't know, is that, am I seeing him out of body? Like afterwards, like his life review, watching it in horror? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm Again, I'm not here to say I know everything and I'm right. I just pick up these little tidbits and I just put them out there and I'm not trying to say I'm right or this what what is right or anything just a couple little things but the what I get most importantly is let peace prevail let peace prevail okay yeah well, let's get onto this chart because I didn't even realize it was coming up so quick because I actually well one more thing <laughs> I'm definitely moving on I did look at the the aspect I just grabbed my you know my um, table ephemeris whatever you call it my pocket ephemeris and there was a Pluto trine Mars yesterday, uh, Sunday, when the shooting happened. I need a drink, excuse me. So, you know, Pluto and Mars, this could be, you know, that violent outburst is not, um, not, I guess, surprising, I guess. Uh, you know, it could be conducive to uh, a violent outburst, Pluto and Mars. But it was at a trine, which was surprising to me, but... The things I mentioned before have nothing to do with astrology. I just didn't want to make two separate videos. I think, well, I only got two. I'm way behind on my regular video. It's coming up in a couple of days. I didn't didn't realize it. Slow down. So I start talking fast because I want to get it all out there. <laughs> slow down, Vic. Okay, slow down. Take a breath. And let's look at this chart. Well, no wonder I'm chatting away. Blah, 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 blah. This full moon is... Um, Sun conjunct Mercury in the air sign too in Libra. Libras are totally, I mean, Mercury is Gemini and they're totally gabbers, you know, they got the gift of gab. And then you throw in the Libra energy and they're definitely talkers too. You get around a Libra, oh my gosh, sometimes you just can't even get a word in. They're just, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, Mercury and the Sun 
well, and Vesta, but this is all part of this full moon in Libra that's coming up in a couple days as, as of this recording. It's coming up on the 5th. Um, and it's 2.41 p.m. Eastern, but times will vary. So, yeah, it's talk, 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 uh, and it's a square to Pluto. Well, this there's going to be a lot more, um, I think, arguing, you know, a lot of arguing people. Again, to this shooting, I can't, you know, just um, dismiss it because it's so right here, present. Um, but, you know, the gun control comes into play, and people that freak out they're going to take our guns. No, we're talking about, sh you know, mach these machine guns, you know, and they just didn't pass the law to not allow mentally ill people to have guns. And then, uh, you know, I think that the guns could have, you know, who we don't need assault weapons, you know. Your average homeowner that's protecting their property. I mean, I have a gun. You know, I have a gun. And uh, I didn't go out and get a gun. It was my dad's, and I just kept it. I, I didn't actively go seek it, but my dad passed away. He was a lot of guns, and I just said, well, my brother says, take one. I said, okay, I'll take one. And I do know how to use it, and I do have one. I've never shot a person or even an animal, but I do know how to use it. Um, but the point is... Not take you know assault weapons are not going to be this is what's going to be coming up now you know maybe it was I had to wait for this time to talk about it you know because it's Pluto and there's this could be very much verbal blah 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 back and forth back and forth Aries aggressive you know um, but Libra really wants to find a solution Libra really wants some balance and some harmony and then we have in the same signs of, of Libra and Aries there's, there's a lot of this Libra Aries energy going on we have Jupiter at 20, almost 29 degrees opposed Uranus. These two are both getting ready to make a move here. Uh, Jupiter is going to make a move this month on 10-10. 10-10 is a magic number. Jupiter goes into Scorpio. But in the meantime, critical degrees, 28, 29 degrees, critical degrees. Critical that something be done. Aries, the war god, militant, uh, weapons. Aries uh, rules over weapons, weaponry. And then Libra, the peacemaker. Um, Uranus, we want our freedom. We want to have our guns. We want to have our freedom. This is our freedom and our liberty. You know, it's guns. Apple pie, you know, America. Apple pie, Ford pickup trucks and guns, you know. That's what it's baseball, you know. All these uh, things that we, um, you know, that Uranian, which is 11th house in the flat wheel. Uranus rules 11th. So that's the groups that we belong to. This is the group, our tribe, our American. I'm talking about America right now. You know, our American tribe. We like baseball and apple pie and beer and, you know, all that good stuff and our guns, you know, and our freedom because we're freedom fighters with the guns and all that. Okay, that's cool. And everybody should, has the right to have a, a responsible gun owners have a right to have guns and use them responsibly. Maybe, possibly not assault weapons though. And then Jupiter um, is so far removed from Aries energy. Not so far removed from Uranus, but Jupiter in Libra. These are higher realm uh, placements. These are Jupiter is the higher mind. It's out of this mentality of, well, you, you got a gun, I got a gun. You know, you hurt me, I hurt you. Um, I have heard me talk before, possibly, and I'm sure many of us were raised with, you know, when I'm growing up. Somebody hits you, you hit them back. You know, <laughs> there was there this an eye for an eye. You know, all this uh, confrontation. Oops, excuse me, confrontation, fight, fight, fight. And this Pluto stuff isn't gonna make it any better. I'll tell you. I think there's a lot of shit. The shit's gonna hit the fan. I'm just gonna say it over the next few days. But maybe it does need to. Maybe it's clear the air because of the concentration in the sign of Libra. Maybe there can be a, a fair and balanced solution. Peace. Libra rules peace. Libra rules compromise. Libra rules balance. Libra rules, um, this. well, it doesn't, I don't know if it rules the justice system, but it, the scales of justice, you know, that's the, uh, the symbol for Libra. So this is where uh, let peace prevail, let peace prevail. I just keep hearing that. So let peace prevail, you know. Let's not get down in the muckety muck. Let's not fight, you know, make more violence and more fighting and and turning on each other and divide and conquer, although I don't really know. I mean, I don't even get who would be behind it. I don't really want to know. You know, I don't really want to get into all the conspiracy end of it all. 
I just feel like he doesn't work alone, you know, and he's shocked by it all. He's shocked by it all, but I could totally be seeing him out of body afterwards, like shocked by what, you know, he's shocked by what's going on and what's happening. He's watching it and shocked. That's what I get. But again, he could be out of body because he killed himself, allegedly, and maybe he's just out of body watching what he just did in shock and disbelief. But I see him like with his mouth hanging open, like in shock, like watching it. So I don't know. You know, and I don't even know what I see as, as, is you know, <laughs> psychic stuff is just, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, but does that mean just because it's not concrete, 100% factually true every time that we just throw it away? I, I don't know, because there's stuff in there. And this full moon is, we're talking psychic stuff, Neptune, 12 degrees, 12 degrees. Yeah, it needs an adjustment when it's in this aspect. It needs to be adjusted. So there's things coming through, and I'm sure I'm not the only one getting downloads and insights, but it needs to be adjusted. It's not saying, oh, this is 100% true and this is what it is. It's just like there's these tidbits and these flashes. And maybe there's some truth in it. Maybe it's otherworldly with Neptune. Like I said, maybe he's out of his body. And if that's too far out there for some of you, then I'm sorry, but it is. It might be, you know. Oh, but Libra, let peace prevail. And Libra, that's what Libra wants. That's the full moon in Libra wants. They want peace to, pre to prevail. All right, in other news, we have Venus and Mars uh, traveling together still, 19 exactly conjunct in the sign of Virgo. So Venus and Mars, you know, typically you think of its love, you know. Um, but it's Mars is back to this Aries energy. It's... Uh, it's you know love thy love thy neighbor but um you know mess with me and I'm gonna shoot you dead too is Mars it's it's a dichotomy Venus is all about the love Mars is all about the war and they're traveling together in the sign of Virgo which meticulously wants to pick out details about everything that's why I don't think that this is gonna be I, I was flashed on the Lee Harvey Oswald thing and again I don't really know. Um, even I was never I hated history class I used to fall asleep during it because it was all about war to me it seemed like but I don't know all the facts that go around I didn't look it up ahead of time uh, but Lee Harvey Oswald you know it's a mystery all these years later still I mean it's whatever 50 years later and we're still talking about it see I think with this Virgo stuff we ain't, it ain't gonna be a mystery I think this is gonna come to light much quicker Details are going to be revealed much quicker. Well, with Uranus, everybody's got their cell phones and stuff, too. Wouldn't be surprised if some kind of cell phone footage somewhere turned up, you know, that gave us some more insight. Or, you know, surveillance. I'm sure the hotel cameras, come on, right? And that's Neptune as well, cameras. But Uranus, our technology and everything. So, um, there's going to be, it's a different era. And there's going to be more, uh, it's going to be solved quickly, I think. And there's going to be more details that are going to be uncovered. I'm sure of it. Well, another thing I just noticed, um, I'm trying to get off the topic, but I keep coming back to it. Because um, this full moon does not only relate to this incident. I mean, there's inc things going on all over the world. Um, but the other news, again, uh, the um, Lilith is exactly conjunct the uh, galactic center hmm. and the galactic center nobody knows exactly what it is uh, but we, it's the, the uh, center of the universe I believe it's a portal I believe it's a point of downloads I've been dreaming my ass off man well I, my, my moon is 26 Sag too so uh, but I've been last few days I've been dreaming my ass like three four five detailed dreams astral traveling you know coming back through my uh, the place that I come through these different gates and stuff when I have to get back to Earth and always ending up on these weird streets and can't find my car and stuff. <laughs> so these, those are I know those are dreams when I've been out of body. Well, maybe we're out of body every night, but um, you know. So I've been having these crazy, crazy dreams and stuff lately. Really out there, bizarro dreams, but vivid, realistic. Remembering them, I'm remembering all, you know two or three when I wake up in the morning. I'm remembering two or three vivid dreams, visitations. I've been with my dad, my mom, my brother lately. They're all dead. They've been in my dreams. So these are visitation dreams. I've been having those. So this Lilith, though, but that's just maybe because I'm the moon. But I think anytime something passes that galactic center, not just me with the moon, but it kind of it 
kind of activates that portal. It aligns that portal. It aligns um, almost like dialing in a radio, you know. It kind of dials it right in. It, it, you know, for a straight, there's something like a straight line or a straight path, you know. Like this just comes into contact with that and it's a straight path. Okay, I know I did talk a lot about the shooting, but that's really, I just woke up this morning and heard about, heard it, you know, and then I looked, I was watching a little CNN and saw the brother and everything. Um, so, and I'm a little late getting to this uh, full moon, I'm sorry, a lot's been going on, but let peace prevail. That, among everything, is the most important. Don't, let's, let's not start, um, you know, st gun control comes up, so let's not just all start about the gun control. Let's not all start about, you know, maybe there's a compromise with Libra, like I'm saying, you know. Do we need assault weapons? Do we need, you know, high-powered machine guns, your average civilian for home protection? Do we need that kind of weaponry out there? With Neptune, do we need mentally ill people um, should be allowed to have guns? I mean, I think that's, can't most people agree that that's probably not a good idea, you know? So let's not get into paranoia and fighting it. And the mob, the mob's crazy. I'm just like, you know, I'm feeling like mob, crazy mob stuff. Let peace prevail. Okay, everybody. Hey, I am still doing those t-shirts. Let me just show you. I, there's a whole page. There'll be a link there. But if you're into astrology, I did a... Because not everybody liked the giant eye one, although I think it's cool. <laughs> if you're, that's a little too much for you, the big giant eye on your chest. I, I did the same thing with... Uh, it says, astrologers have the stars in their eyes, with just really elegant text and some little stars on it. So a little bit more elegant. Another new one, out of body, be back soon. Um... This I was talking about the TV, and, and that's just very prevalent right now too with the um, all the news. Like I turned on CNN for about five minutes, and that was about it. You know, um, TV is a fear machine. You know, um, that's another new one. And then the whole group I got Halloween. I, mean, I think I got all twelve zodiacs up. If not soon, I'm adding them slowly but surely. It's a slow process. There's a big vetting process they have to go to through, which I understand because you know, um, oh, and the what's your sign if you're an astrologer. You know, I understand because they can be faced with lawsuits for copyright infringement and whatnot. But please do check that out to help support the free readings that I do on YouTube. But yeah, let's send prayers, man. Let's not start fighting. Come on. Let's not start fighting about this, about our own self-interest and what I want. I want my guns, or I want this, or I want that. I want vengeance, you know. I want to make them pay, make them hurt. That's not what Libra energy is about. And Jupiter's making its last little burst here. It's at almost at 29 Libra. In the next five days, and only five more days after this full moon, will Jupiter be in Libra anymore? Then it's going to Scorpio. And then you want to, you want to talk about vengeance? Oh, look out! Nobody does vengeance like Scorpio. I mean, <laughs> look out! So Jupiter's making its last vibe here with this full moon, and the, I mean, the Libra energy, this full moon, and then this Jupiter here. Let's err to the side of, of, of Libra. Let's err to the side of Venus, which is the ruler of Libra. Libra ruled by Venus. Let's go toward love. Go towards peace. Let peace prevail. Okay, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, commenting. Pick up a t-shirt for you or somebody that you like. Help me out. Uh, remember you are love and beauty incarnate. This is Vicki Verley wishing you... I was going to say lots of love, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's what I say at the end of my <laughs> lots of love rings. But it would prevail. Um, it would um, prevail. I, say, I keep wanting to say prevail, prevail. It would apply now. So I'm wishing you lots of love, truly. Until next time. <laughs>